What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use the Windows registry with Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so the Windows registry is essentially a database on Windows that is used by the operating system and also by certain applications uh, to store settings inside of that database. And you can look at that database by typing rec edit into your start menu and by clicking here on registry editor, this is gonna prompt the administrative privileges here. And once you're in, you can see this hierarchical structure here where you have the keys, classes, root, current user, local machine users, current config. And here you have a bunch of settings um, of the Windows operating system of certain applications, uh, stuff like maybe what settings to use at boot up or at shutdown and stuff like that. Uh, or if you want to have certain icons on the desktop, if you want to have certain options in the context menu and stuff like that, this is what the operating system does. And if you go to H key current user, and if you go to software, you will see that we have here certain uh, applications. Now, since I prepared this video here, I already have a neural nine folder, we're going to delete this here. But you can see we have by Microsoft or by Mozilla, you have certain settings here, uh, certain values, certain keys. So you always have the keys here on the left. And then you have the actual values here on the right, which are paths or uh, numbers or strings, certain settings that the application can use. Um, to, to store the settings here. So the settings are stored in the registry and they can be accessed and those are the settings that we have here. And in today's video, we're going to learn how we in Python can access the Windows registry. Obviously, I think it goes without saying this is only for Windows. This does not work on Linux or Mac, uh, but we can use the Windows registry in Python for our scripts if we want to store the config there instead of, for example, in a config file, instead of in a database, instead of somewhere else, we can store it in the Windows registry. And the good thing about this is that we don't even need an external Python library. We can just use the core Python library WinRec. So we go ahead and we say import WinRec and this allows us to access the Windows registry. And for this video, we're just going to store a simple or two simple strings. Uh, we're not going to do any meaningful examples here. We're just going to store some value in there and read it from there uh, afterwards. So we're going to store it with the script, we're going to delete uh, the code for storing the value, and then we're going to access the value from the registry. And we're going to take a look into the registry editor to see that our values are there now. And in order to start, we're going to say that the path, the initial path is going to be winrec dot um, h key current user, which is what we saw here. And then we want to access the software uh, the software key. So we're going to say software equals winrec dot open key x. And then we're going to say from the path, go further into and this is going to be r and uh, then a string software backslash backslash. And this is going to go to the software key. Uh, maybe we should have the registry editor open here side by side. Uh, this would be now we navigated to h key current user and then to software. So now we're inside of software. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new key. Remember, a key is everything on the left here, everything that looks like a directory. And on the right, we have the values. So we want to open up a new key. We're going to call this new key. And this is going to be winrec dot create key inside of software. And this key is going to be called neural nine. And you can call it whatever your application is called or whatever your company is called. Um, and then we're going to say now winrec dot and we can create a key, uh, we can create a value, sorry, we can set a value. So we're going to say set value x. And in the registry editor, if we want to do that now, I think we should be able to see neural nine already. No, we don't see it. Oh, we didn't run the script. Oh, I'm stupid. But um, what we can do here is we can right click and say new and then we have uh, values that we can choose from, we can have a string value, a binary value. And if I click, for example, on string value, you can see the type is rec s z. And um, in this case, I'm going to delete it now. But we can do the same thing here in Python. So we can say win rec set value x. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass here the new key that we created, which is neural nine. Inside of it, we're going to place the value my value. So this is going to be the name of the value. Uh, we're going to pass zero here and we're going to pass uh, winrec dot rec sz, which is the type um, that we want to use. This is the string type that we want to use. Uh, and then we're going to pass the value, which is going to be, for example, hello world. 
So we have a new key, neural nine, we enter the value, my value that has a type rec SZ, which is a string, and we're going to have the value hello world being set for that value. And then we can do the same thing here. Um, by saying new key, my value, uh, let's say this is going to be my other value. And it's going to have the same type And here I'm going to do something like 20. I don't know. Something like that. So now we have these values in that key. And what we can do now is we can say, okay, if the new key, then win rec dot close, close key, new key. So this is basically closing the file stream. It's like writing to a file and then saying close that file stream. Um, if I run this now, you can see process finished with exit code zero. If I go into the registry now, uh, I think it's not going to update automatically. No, maybe I have to run the registry editor again. And now if I go to software, you can see we have neural nine here with these values. And what we can do now is we can get rid of all that. Uh, at least we can get rid of all this here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to read that information. So again, the purpose of this is having a config database where we can just write something into the database and we can get something from the database, we can um, get the config, we can load it, and we can write into that config, which is stored in the Windows registry, instead of a file. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say instead of software, we're going to say, neural nine, because that's the name of the key is WinRec open key x and the path is going to be also neural nine, and then backslash backslash. And then what we want to do is we want to load the values that we just wrote into the registry. So we're going to say my value is equal to WinRec, and then query value x from the path. So from H key current user. Um, and oh, sorry, no, I, I miss uh, I, I looked at the wrong line in my prepared code. Of course, what we want to do is we want to look for that value inside of neural nine, not from the path. We look for neural nine in the path. So the path is H key current user, we go to software neural nine, and then we are at the neural nine key. And here we look for the following value, the value which is called my value and the same thing will be done for my other value, which is my other value here. And then we're going to say if neural nine, then um, win rec dot close key neural nine, and then we're going to say print my value and print my other value. There you go. And we you can see we have a tuple down here, hello world one, uh, and 21. So we can just go ahead and say, get me index zero to get the actual value. And there you go. This is how we use the Windows registry in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.